What's going on YouTube? I am Dope and this is Dope Comics and today we're talking 60s DC, we're talking Dino Wars, we're talking dinosaurs, we're talking war, we're talking Star Spangled War Stories, which started 1952. There was 200 issues, but around 1967 they started uh started uh the best part of the whole thing. It was called uh so, like the, the the war that time forgot and it was only about dinosaurs fighting just army dudes covers are real good a lot of a lot of cubert in there artwork it's really good stuff we're going to show off a couple today and it's going to be a pretty quick but i'm going to give you some ideas on what to look for when you go to your local comic book store pick these up if you find them you can usually find them for cheap uh Really cool artwork, really cool books if you're in a sci-fi, war, or even horror. Check them out. Let's get going. Here is issue 116. Came out in 1969. There's a lot to digest with this cover. First, I would think a reptile in the snow would be dead pretty quick because uh, he's cold-blooded. And uh, I don't think he would live long. And then these two guys down here, if you look, they're from the Suicide Squad. It says right there. And uh, anytime you ride a sled downhill into a giant dinosaur, it is a suicide mission. Uh, these two dudes, I don't know where they're stationed at and what fucking army they're in. But if you join an army and you're a team of two and they give you a sled, quit the army. Just go to prison. Do what you got to do. Because if you stay out here in war with a sled, you're going to be dead. I mean, it's no good uphill. It's no good on flat ground. It don't have brakes. A damn two-man sled team with a machine gun on the back of a sled fighting a dinosaur. I don't know. A cold-blooded dinosaur in the snow at that. So this is 116. Cool art. Silly story, just like I like. Now this cover, when I first saw it, got me thinking. I was sitting at the red light in my little shitty Versa, thinking what all nerds think about. Could a T-Rex really flip a, a tank? Or would the tank just flatten this motherfucker? And after lots of thinking, I think that uh, a tank would run the fuck over a T-Rex. I don't think the T-Rex is going to eat up the tank. I don't think the T-Rex is strong enough to bend this barrel. I don't think a T-Rex is strong enough to pick a tank up. I think this tank would flatten this T-Rex. And I only know one person that's in the army. And uh, Master Blaster, if you're watching this, leave in the comments what would really happen because i think the tank would run over the t-rex he would be flattened there's no way this t-rex could hurt this tank wouldn't he need the guns you could just run him over but he would know more than i would so if you're watching this master blaster put in the comments what would happen my money's on the tank I sit around in my bed at night trying to sleep thinking about stupid shit like that. Look at him. This is a good one here. This is a Joe Kubert. I would think if you're in a damn fighter plane with, with machine guns, you'd be putting holes all in this T-Rex's long wingspan. It's like a damn hang glider. You ought to be shooting the shit out of this T-Rex. This shouldn't even be close. And it looked the way he's flying with his hand here. He barely got a hold. My money is on the modern day Japanese pilot over here. I guess it's Japanese. It looks like it's got the old rising sun on there. I don't, if you, if you're a pilot, a well-trained pilot in the fifties or sixties, and if you can't beat a slow ass bird with a 150 pound Tarzan man on his back and a, and a, I mean, he ain't even holding his damn machine gun right. He's got the old barrel up underneath his armpit. If he brings this down, this guy is a shitty pallet. But that is 129 right there. 
I got, I'm a great pilot, but uh, somehow a slow ass bird and a, a prehistoric man with a machine gun took us out. All right, here we go. We got 132. I mean, there's a tree down here. So we got a T-Rex in a tree and we got two GI Joes. Now I'm thinking might be another question for you. Mr. Master Blaster, but I'm thinking a Glock or something to a T-Rex's head at point blank range, a T-Rex would be dead. These, I think these books make dinosaurs look a lot stronger than they are. Because I would think a uh, point blank range, my money is on the G.I. Joe here. Could be wrong. That is 132. Who y'all got? G.I. Joe, point blank range. I'm thinking this shot is over with. Kill shot. Now this, this coverage is dumb. This here is number 134. And if you look close, here's the back of the island. Here is the front of the island. The dinosaur is the length of the island. Why in the hell, if you're driving this boat, would you get this close? Just stay out here in the water and shoot this damn dude. I mean, you got close enough for the dinosaur to grab your boat? Don't miss the killing ground. Hell yeah, it's a killing ground if you get close enough to the ground. It's the damn width of the dinosaur. Just get the boat out here in the water and he can't get to you and shoot him from out there. Why... Why did the damn driver of the boat get so close to that little ass island? It is a killing ground now. He got your boat. Y'all dead. And these two dudes, this is number uh, 135, was out of trying to have a damn sandwich on the beach. And this don't, I don't understand this. I mean, this is like Storm of the Beaches of Normandy in 1944. The door let down, saving Private Ryan. But instead of a damn people getting off, it's dinosaurs. Is a dinosaur driving this boat? Did a dude drop the dinosaurs over here? Why is there dinosaurs on an army boat? And who is driving it? And they just lackadaisical. Sit, he's sitting on his damn hip bone. Get him, Charlie. Shoot that one, Jeffrey. We got to kill all these guys. I mean, shit. They look like they they sitting all lackadaisical, like they like they looking at damn gophers or something. The giant dinosaurs trying to eat their damn bones. So that's one thirty five. And we got two more. This one's pretty colorful. This is a uh, one thirty six. And I would think a machine gun to the face of a T Rex. If if the nine millimeter is gonna kill them, I would think. These two dudes shooting these dinosaurs in the face with machine guns, it would be over with pretty quick. These damn dinosaurs ain't even bleeding. I mean, come on, man. Joe Kubert, get your stuff together, buddy. Dinosaurs wasn't invincible. Shit. All right, we got one more. We got number Star Spangled War, number 137. I gave a whopping six bucks for this. And this is one of the stupidest covers ever, if you look at it close. We got a giant dinosaur. And what is he ripping up? Is that not a submarine? And if you look, the water is only ankle deep. Why in the hell did the submarine get in the ankle deep water? He was like a beach whale. He was just sitting there, hung. The water is ankle deep. Rip the top off the submarine. These two guys ain't falling through the hollow tube. They just chilling. So I don't know what is going on with that. But it's colorful anyway. It's got to be colorful. So that is all of our Star Spangled War books today. Great series. Next time you go to your local comic book store, go to the S's. See how many of these you can find. These are, these are awesome books. And if they ever came out with a movie, I'd be the first one there. I'd love to see something like this, a generic real you know real generic movie made i'd like to see 
a series. Not not even good enough for Netflix. Let's put that shit on Tubi or something. Some real low budget shit. I'd love to see this. Love it. Sit around drinking Miller Lite and eat Chico sticks and watch that late at night. All right. Today, boom, 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 boom. bonus book. Bonus book. Today's bonus book is we got some Frank Frazetta artwork. And when you think Frazetta, I think barbarians. I think swords and sorcery. I think Conan. I think that kind of stuff. But not today. Since we were talking war, I brought out the war cover. Yeah. 50s. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Check out how detailed that is. Frank Frazetta. Dude's moving a landmine. You know anything about that, Master Blaster? You know how to detonate landmines? This guy does. He's cooling a cucumbers. Well, he is. This guy back here is like, what you doing, Frankie? Don't move, Charles. Got my Bowie knife out. I'm gonna take care of this land, mind. Mind your business. So, they got it going on. This book here is from the mid 50s. I think it was, it's made by Famous Funnies. It's a heroic Frank Frazetta artwork. It's a really cool cover. Really cool book. So, that is your book of the day. And today, we have finished under 12 minutes. So if you like what you see and you want to see some more Oddball DC, because I've still got all kinds of DC we got to get to. Uh, can't wait to do like Witching Hour and uh, House of Secrets, House of Mystery, Sinister House. Uh, we got all that coming. We got Ghost. Uh, all that DC 70s horror is coming. Uh, if you like what you see, Slap the like button or slap the subscribe button. Join us and uh, just join the family and we'll keep on putting out content. And uh, till the next time. Pew, pew.